Mbera refugee camp in southern Mauritania, about 50 kilometers from the Malian border, is growing by the day as tens of thousands of people fleeing fighting in northern Mali come here to seek refuge. Violence began in January when Tuareg rebels captured the country's north, which forms two-thirds of the country from government troops. The rebels said they want that part of the nation to become an autonomous state. Then Islamist militias hijacked the rebellion and called for Sharia law to be imposed. The refugees, who are mostly ethnic Tuaregs, have had to endure harsh desert conditions of the Sahel, intense heat, drought and sandstorms. While they're traditionally nomads and are used to surviving on little, they are inherently independent. But the refugees fled with nothing to sustain themselves and are now dependent on foreign aid. The United Nations Humanitarian Agency, UNHCR, is providing them with basic necessities like food, shelter, water and medical aid. Today we have 95,000 refugees in Bera camp. So far everything is calm. Insecurity has also affected trade in the rebel-held north and people are fleeing from high food prices and full shortages. The UN estimates about 1,000 refugees arrive at the camp every day. Aid agencies say they need more support as food rations are not enough to meet nutritional needs of Mbera's refugee population while space and shelter is scarce with few tents to go around. We arrived here yesterday. We have nothing to do and nothing to eat, but we do have water. We have also not slept. We just sit. Ahmed Ak Al Mustafa arrived a week ago and has been living under a plastic sheet. He is waiting for the refugee agency to take his family to better shelter. I am here with my children. We have been told that we will be moved. But there was a change of mind we have not left yet. According to UN estimates, over 400,000 people have been uprooted from their homes by the conflict in Mali.